guys, this is Kelly. I'm back with another process video. This layout is for Citrus Twist Kits, and I am using the Main Kit, the Embellishment Kit, and the Project Life Kit for this. I have pulled out these photos. They are of my daughter when she first started playing softball. This was the first year that she played, and I have had this quote that I have wanted to scrapbook for quite a while. She uh, came up to me sometime, I wrote it down, but you know, silly me didn't put the date. But she, she said it sometime when, when she played the first uh, season, saying that she had been waiting to play softball for her entire life. You know, when you're nine years old and you say something you've waited, you know, your entire life, it just made me chuckle. And I just thought it was the funniest little thing. And I knew that I wanted to get that onto a page at some point because, I mean, how cute. Some of these things are adorable. I wish that when my kids were younger, I had done a better job. I do have some of their little sayings down, but I've got them like here and there. I need to... Um, like everyone else or most everyone else, clean up my stuff and get everything put together so that I have all of these little cute sayings together. Anyway, I pulled out these uh, photos and decided to scrap these. She, when she started playing softball, you know that there's some kids that just you look at and you're like, geez, you know, they look like they were born with a bat in hand or whatever. You know, my husband, when she started it was like this is incredible she you know can has a perfect eye hand coordination she, timing and stuff like that and he was just very surprised and of course very delighted since he loves baseball um he was a quick convert to softball so anyway i wanted to get these photos and what inspired me to get these photos done is um this gray and white star paper and i and using that, I, sometimes I will stumble because the colors on a softball field can be very uh, intimidating to use. There's like that clay color and, you know, sometimes the uniforms can be obnoxious colors. When I say obnoxious, I mean not pretty pink and aqua that you can easily scrapbook. But, um, you know, some of them can be a little bit more difficult. And I have a bunch of these photos that just I have not made a layout for because of how difficult it was. So I decided that I was going to see if I needed to convert these in black and white, which I didn't feel like at the end I needed to do because I felt like the colors all worked together. So I do need to apologize for this as well. I This is the second layout that I made using my new tripod. And, you know, again, I tried to bring it a little closer. The bottom edge is cut off. And a little bit later, I'm actually going to have the same issue again where I feel like it's where the, the weight of, I, I don't, I don't, I guess I didn't have like every little knob screwed tight, but it felt like it was screwed tight, but it was one of these that you just have to screw even more tight. So I had my husband come and help and see if that made a difference. And I think it did, but so I'm going to apologize. There's going to be a little bit of it that you can't see, you're going to laugh again when the camera starts going and seeing my messy desk. And bless you for all of you people that um, made nice little comments about my messy desk. The desk just isn't part of the mess. If you were to look behind me on my floor, that would be where the real story was. And you'd be like, um, girl, uh, the rest of your house isn't like this. Why is this area? And uh, you need to fix it. Actually, I really am in the process of fixing it, which is why right now it is so disastrous. But anyway, back to the page. What I'm doing is just layering up some of the different papers behind the photos. They There were a lot of unique patterns and busy patterns, but I find when you just trim little bits to have uh, peeking out behind photos and things like that, that it gives it interest and, um, you know, you can still see the colors and things like that without it being so overwhelming. And one of the things that I found was taking this chamel paper that had uh, uni it's unicorns or horses. I can't see the top of the head, so I'm not sure if it's unicorns or horses. 
But anyway, I took it and I mounted my photos on that piece of paper and cut it closely. And you can't tell that it's a piece of paper that has, I think it's unicorns on it. You know, so don't be afraid to use your papers um, that are themed, like, you know, a unicorn paper in a way that does not necessarily embrace the theme like I did here. So this is kind of where this, the, the descent slowly starts. And in just a minute, you are going to see more and more of my messy desk. And I don't make you watch it all. I just, you know, thought I'd leave it in because you can still see that I'm moving around some of the papers. And I decided on the B side of that Paige Evans paper to mount my photo and then have a little bit of that stitched paper showing underneath my photos. So again, I'm sorry about this. This was the second layout I made once or made with a new tripod. Once I get scrapbooking, if I'm in a zone, I forget that I'm filming and I don't pay attention to the camera. And that's what you want from your um, YouTube creators who are sharing their videos and there's my mess. You want them to be in the zone because it's harder to scrapbook if you're not in your zone and it's, it creates more time in editing and things like that, which, you know, the longer that I have to edit, it means either the less time that I have to do other things or the fact that it takes longer for me to get the videos up. And uh, that's just kind of the way it goes. So now I'm back and I'm roughing up the edges with my distress tool. Again, you do not need to have a distress tool to do this. Um, and it's also easier to do this before you adhere your papers together. You know, sometimes I'm looking at something and I feel like it's great and I go ahead and adhere it. And then as the page progresses, I feel like I need to do something else. And that's, you know, exactly what happened here. I felt like the, the distressed edges would help add character to the page and it truly would have been so much easier if I had thought about it ahead of time but you know what it, it didn't so I will just embrace it and see what I can get um, see how well I can do it with it still being adhered together and me not ripping apart the paper because ATG tape is great and it's not ATG tape, um, for me, if I can pull it up right away, I have a decent job of, I can get it pulled up, but if I don't, I feel like it, um, it's going to rip the paper. So at this point, I'm going through uh, the Good Vibes uh, chipboard and trying to see what I can use on the page, and I know that this Good Job, Good Job, Good Vibes uh, title that says Wowza, um, I want to use, I have a hard time saying that, and I'm from the South. That would be something that seems like it would come off my tongue, but it just does not. Um, anyway, my, my husband had to ask, he was like, what does that mean? I'm like, good? Like, wow? I mean, am I, is he the only one? I was like, where have you been hiding? Because how, how do you not know? I mean, it's not a term that you go around saying. Maybe that's just a really younger term, and because I paid more attention to the kids, I don't know, but I haven't heard them say it. If you know where that came from, let me know so I can tell him. Anyway, um, I'm also going to just let you know in advance that a couple little things are cut off the end of this video. I have no idea what happened. Um, I'm doing this voiceover uh, probably almost three weeks after I created the page. So forgive me, I, I'm not sure. I do know that I adhere, what you miss me doing is adhering down the final paper layers and uh, doing some black mist. So I'm sorry about that, but you will see it in the close-ups. I feel like I'm saying I'm sorry for these first, you know, these last couple of process videos, but I feel like you see enough of the page that you still get the idea of what I did. So if this really annoys you, please don't give me a thumbs down. Um, I think it's fixed. Um, anyway, so I'm taking these labels and I'm trying to figure out what I want to put where and I eventually settle on a yellow label on the top that says today, todaying and it has an X, you can put an X by playing or an X by resting and I X 
put an X by playing. And I thought that was really cute. And that is from the Project Life Kit. But I liked the pops of yellow because you probably can't see it on screen, but softballs are bright yellow. And that is a hard color to bring on a page and, you know, for it to work so well on this page. And it helped to, for in my mind, bring emphasis to the bright yellow softball. So that's it for me today. I hope this um, was an okay enough process video to put out there despite my tripod saga. Um, again, I think that was the last time I've been able to um, pay a little bit more attention and catch it um, with problems if there have been any. So thanks so much. I will see you soon. I hope you guys have a great day and I will be back later. Take care. Bye. Thank you.